afternoon everybody evening for a lot of people especially on the west coast i know the west coast uh, i'm sorry on the east coast this, on the east coast i know there's a lot of things going on on the east coast especially florida you know with the weather conditions and the weather situation which um you know is um everything everybody talks about well you know the media more so than anything talking about the historic factors involved with all of this that's happening. And I agree, it is historic. And it's also uh, the, the same things that I've been talking about f for a couple of years, and it's the interference as well. You know, the, the, the constant interference and and attempting to tap into to elements of this planet that a lot of people just do not understand. And I told you it's energy, you know, it's about energy. Whether it's feminine energy, right? Whether it's negative energy or criminal energy, it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's always about the about the energy of things, and for us not understanding the components to energy and how so many factors uh, are are involved with energy, um, and then eventually, you know, you end up, you know, you know, harming yourself when you don't understand what you're dealing with. And more so, and especially, you know, you harm innocent people as well. You harm, you know, uh, not so innocent people. You know, it's just when it comes to uh, attempting to weaponize everything, whether it's uh, the weather, whether it's, you know, each other, you know, whether it's the, the, the biology, the energy, you know, there's energy with biology as well. You know, when anytime people attempt to tap into certain things, it, it just always, you know, it ends up causing more harm than good and their whole and then they attempt to think about you know why they got themselves involved in such such activity and a lot of them that's why they're so angry and bitter and jealous and, and that envy and that rage that fury of rage and you know that fury of rage you know also helps with this encasement of the negativity that surround this planet and so my point is, you know, you, when I say you who participate in negative energy, criminal energy, it's affecting you just as much. You know, you, you, you think you're burning something, but, but you're burning yourself. And more so, you're burning your consciousness and the development of your consciousness by by this fueling of rage and energy. I mean, I mean, it, it, it can, it, it's con combustible and it's destructive. I put out some videos about that as well. But I just wanted to come on through. Today is um, October the 9th, 2024 on a Wednesday. Okay. And so we are being, uh, you know, being, a lot of us are just kind of waiting around to see what's going to happen with Milton. Um, this is the same kind of similar scenario when Ian came through, when I experienced Hurricane Ian. And let's see, when did that happen? And how, um, when that happened, it happened in 2022. And I'm, I want to see what date it was, because that was a, 2022 was very, very significant. I mean, um, when we, in the, in the distant future, we, you know, when we are, when our descendants, our former personalities, our lineage, whatever, our ants, you know, when we look back on these times, these moments, these timings, whatever you want to call it, we're going to realize, you know, that that was the significant event. You know, things have been significant for a while, but there was something about that significant event in 2022. Um, for me, something started happening in 2027, 2020. Since somebody, since everybody's all into this stuff, you know, as they call it uh, astrology. They uh, they attempt to call it astrology, but it's anything but. And astrology does have a science to it. Thus, that's why I'm talking about the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Those things do have scientific factors. And if you calculate things properly, neutrally, you you can you can kind of uh, avoid a lot of chaos and destruction. Okay, so twenty. The dawning of the age of Aquarius is um, uh, uh, February 3rd, 2029. 
And I told you there are significance in in um, sevens, you know, in the um, calculations, multiplications, whatever you want to call it, of seven. You know, like when you are seven year old, fourteen year old, twenty one year old, twenty eight year old. You know, as you as you do as you calculate things in sevens, there's significance there. So that's why twenty twenty two was significant because of the event that is supposed to happen. February 3rd, 2029, the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Not to mention, though, in between time, in the meantime, you know, we have that asteroid out there that's supposed to strike in, tw it's between 2029 and 2036. And, um, seven times six, you know, I don't know how to calculate no more, <laughs> but, um, so there's a, so there is significance with astrology, astrology how we pronounce it, but it's not zodiac signs and this kind of matchmaking qualities. It's something extremely more complex than that, and, and that's why I said the dangers of anyone thinking they understand it and attempting to tap into it again, talking thinking you're talking to dead people, okay, thinking that you're talking to. Uh, um, uh, we call them people from other countries, human beings from other, not other countries, from other planets, uh, talking to ETs, talking to aliens, talking to foreigners, whatever they're calling them now, um, extraterrestrials, you know, that's basically what people call them. And so, so many people, so many people believe that they're talking to other people from other planets, not to mention some people believe they're talking to people, talking to dead people. But the the one the most that most the most uh, highly um, belief is that people believe that they are talking to people outside 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 this planet, and that's where the problems are. Right? See, they don't want to they don't want to use that they're talking to dead people anymore because they know that that's uh, they know that a lot of people are figuring that out. So now they're going to claim they're talking to people out of out of the, out of this out in space somewhere. You know, they, now they think they're that powerful now. You know, first they were talking to dead people. Well, and a lot of people are realizing that um, there's some some contradictions to that. Because what if that person is cremated? Are you still able to talk to them? What are you talking to if you claim you're talking to dead people? Okay, so now, so I'm glad that a lot of people are starting to figure stuff out. And they're starting to say, wait a second here. What is really going on? on you know either you're talking to my dead relative or you're not and it's easy to say that you're talking to someone's dead relative because what everything about your dead relative is all over the internet whether whether they whether it was put there in like my parents my parents are all over the internet your parents but my mom and dad do not touch a computer during their lifetime okay but there's but they're but they're your 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 data is out there for anyone to grab it and do what they will. So they're going to find out stuff about your parents, find out something about your dead relatives, because the information is out there in the clouds, quote unquote. Pay attention. So as I get back to um, when Ian, Hurricane Ian came through in 2022, um, that was significant for me. Uh, it, it happened around September of 2022, and that's when, you know, certain things was, you know, and, and it, there was, it was a significant event, my point. It was significant. A lot of us missed the significance of it. It was more so significant than the, um, oh, that the, the total eclipse, right? Remember that total eclipse? That was significant as well. Everything was significant because of the interference of it all. Okay? Because of the interference of it all. And I can remember back in 2022 when I started noticing things happening. Because, you know, I I was coming off of my toxic environment, my toxic reality, and healing myself. And eventually, I came to a healed point. But... As I keep telling you, healing keeps you spinning and healing. And when you come into a point of being healed, it is not pretty. 
Okay, it's not pretty at all. Okay, so I put several videos out there about that, you know, several. So, so there was a significance of 2022. And it's going to, and so, like I said, things happen in sevens. And so as we approach the dawning of the age of Aquarius, February 3rd, 2029, there's going to be some, some significance there as well. But some people may not be, even be there or be here during those times. You know, some people are not going to make it. You know, that's what, you know, five, five years at least. And when I say significance, um, there's, there's, a, there's a cause and effect, you know, for everything. That is how, you know, the energy gets going. And I said a lot of things during that time that, that I guess, tr troubled some people. And, you know, it, and the thing is, is people are going to get troubled by anything you say or do. Okay. And, and that's manipulation because they want you to shut the fuck up. Okay. That's just what they want. They want you to shut the fuck up by any means necessary. And so you, you, you're not going to know who it's coming from. I told you when the assassinations happen, no one knows who ordered it. And that's the whole point. Okay, so when these high-profile individuals get, quote, unquote, taken out, you know, a lot of people like saying assassination. All right, does anyone know what that word means, though? Has anyone looked it up to know what what that means? What's the difference in between assassination and murdered? Okay, so this, 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 let's just look at assassination for a moment. Okay, assassination is, you know, a killing by treacherous violence is what it says here. Killing or murder for political reasons. Okay, an attack intended to ruin someone's reputation. Let's go and see what it says here. It says an assassination is a willful killing by a southern secret or planned attack of a person especially if prominent or important. It may be prompted by grievances, you know, financial, military, political, you know, but I say envy and jealousy. As I've, I, as I've said, envy and jealousy is, uh, is the number one factor that is to consider. So what's the difference between assassination and murder? I know my, I, you know, I know who's listening to my videos, and I know a lot of people get really, uh, we get real uncomfortable with murder, but yet we, we get uncomfortable hearing murder, you know, hearing someone say murder, but we have no problems, uh, you know, perform, you know, participating in that type of activity, being complicit, you know, uh, being ordered to do so. Some people have no issues with being ordered to assassinate someone. Okay. And then also indoctrination, hypnotizing people can it works as well. Okay, keep that in mind. It says murder is an unlawful killing of another human without justification or valid excuse. Okay, assassination again is um it's a willful killing by a southern by a southern secret or planned attack of a person, especially if they are considered important. And usually when someone's assassinated, again, you're not going to know who ordered it. I mean, you know, even though there was um, this man that, w that was used to kill or assassinate one of these uh, political, you know, the Kennedy, remember him? I think it was Robert Kennedy. Robert Kennedy was, uh, yeah, you remember when he was assassinated in uh, November 20th, 1925, he was assassinated by someone who was uh, indoctrin uh, indoctrinated and hypnotized to kill him, right? And it, it, no one will ever know who ordered it, even though a lot of, a lot of people point fingers at, at certain people. I mean, the, the, the true... Um, identity of who ordered it you won't you will not never you won't ever know okay but that but but because we love to speculate 
we are, we are spec the, the speculation country actually it happens a lot in Amer you know in this country of America or uh, you know where we just love to uh you know speculate about everything whether it's financial hint hint you know whether it's uh criminal it, it, political you know it, you know cultural icons entertainers we love speculating and being so concerned about what's going on and those in the lives of those people especially in their bedrooms I, you know, I said that many a times on hundreds of videos. It's about the bedroom, the jealousy and the envy, you know, and, and the fact that now, you know, they, we have we have this artificial intelligence that no one that no one knows what they're dealing with, and and now it's going to be catastrophic because now uh, artificial intelligence is being used as well in this in this modification of our weather, interference of our weather, interference of our climate interference of this and that and the other okay you know the atoms the atom and i heard someone rambling you know because everybody's rambling including me hey i'm rambling too but they're talking about and and it's a justification about nuclear you know they're talking about nuclear you know nuclear is just you know it's energy it's energy you know and, and so we're we're kind of you know, messing around with nuclear power, like it's like it's uh, you know, like it's candy, and you know, it's um, you know, it's neutral. Everything is neutral. Everything about energy is neutral. It's just the action and behaviors behind it, which either makes it positive energy or negative criminal energy. We ought to uh, strive for being neutral about it. Whether, you know, and not make it so overly positive, you know, and then, then like solar, you know, solar panels, you know, all of this stuff, electrical vehicles, okay, oh, it's, all, it's all energy, you know, atomic power, nuclear power, you know, nuclear is uh, more on the negative side of things, even though it, it, a lot of people swear by the uh, positivity of it. You know, it's, it's, just, it's just like holding a, you know, a, a match to, you know, to, you know, match to combustible energy or something. I mean, you just have to be very, very careful with that. So the point of this video, <laughs> like I said, I ramble too. <laughs> the point of this video today, however, is to, to just to remind you that, you know, You know, energy, you know, you, you know, dealing with energy. I know for a lot of people, everything is toys to them. You know, they see everything as toys and they see everything as um, something, you know, fun and, and something, you know, it's, um, what did I post earlier? I'm looking to see what I posted earlier. Hey everyone, so. Uh, let's see here. What did I say? I said love counters negative energy, and it does, okay? And energy does not discriminate, okay? So I just want to send out love to everybody that's going through things. Universal love. I've said it. I, I, I send out universal love even to my enemies that are participating in a lot of complicity of, of, of behaviors and actions that are causing catastrophic events to happen, and eventually it's going to, in what I told you about the boomerang, you know, and a lot of people are not going to know how things happen, why things happen, but they're just going to know something happened. And but there are some complicities out there, and I say complicities. I hope I'm saying that word correctly. Complicit behavior, where um, there are those of you that are involved. You don't know you're being used. You don't know people are making fun of you. Okay, I've said that so many times. You don't know that people are using you, making fun of you, laughing behind your back, but yet you are helping them unknowingly to destroy humanity. And you're sitting there dancing and being all being all complacent about it, thinking that you are the shit and that everybody everybody has so much um uh praise for you. They they're laughing at you. They, they, you look like a fool and you know who you are. Complicity, involvement as, a, as an accomplice in a questionable act or a crime. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just say that right now. Of course, uh, a lot of things are going on all over the world and it's going to continue to be so. We have to get out of our, think we have to change our thinking mode to be more re more reflective and wide ranging and, and kind of bringing all of everything together as one to see if you can understand what it means that everything is one eventually. In other words, you and I, I, we, and us, we're, we are one eventually, even though we failed collectively. So if you think that you can just mess around, and I said this before, you think, you, you know, see earth as a brain. You think not having a war on the right side of your brain is not going to affect the left side of your brain. Think about it, snap out of it, protect yourself, protect each other. Peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Trust me, I will be back.